had a diving goal against uh, Providence last weekend. by John Henry, and we've been talking a lot uh, in the UNH camp about this pro-style uh, wrist shot that John Henry has, and he just showed it there. Got the puck just outside the face-off circle and went upper 90s over the uh, blocker of Sean Sermon. What's on, what's on the menu tonight? Whatever it is, it looks frozen. How about a frozen rope wow. from Henry? In? <laughs> yeah, that was just a tremendous, tremendous shot. Reached back to pick up the puck. Got a little extra leverage on it. Flipped up, kept in by Flint. Chance here for the Black Bears. Shot safety drama. Rebound score! Guess who? Gustav Nyquist ties it at one. Well, that's and that rebound was costly to DiGiralamo. Yeah, it was left in a spot down low for Gustav Nyquist, who scored his first five-on-five -five goal. Of the weekend, you know, actually, Gustav Nyquist is uh, before last night. His last goal was in that UNH main game up in Orono. So his last five goals are against the Wildcats. Got up, delayed Paul as Abbott with possession. Sermon goes to the bench. Chance here for Maine. Set up a front score. Kyle Beatty gets his fourth of the season. And it's 2-1 Black Bears. A little extra peel off on the far side, just inside the Wildcat blue line, and that allowed time for Kevin B. and Kyle Beatty to get into the zone. As the penalty was going to be called on Dalton Spielman for a high stick, there's the little curl by Spencer Abbott, and that freed up enough time for B to get to the far side of the far post. And Maine picks up the 2 1 lead, and they will have the courtesy of the first power play of the game. He'll come back looking for. Someone to drop it to, it's Thompson, but he couldn't get out of his skates. Now back to back, final minute of play. Back in front, Henry and score! Well, it's another crazy first period tonight here at the Whittemore Center. John Henry with his second wrist shot goal, this one under a minute to play. As he equalizes the score at two all, and rebound. It uh, deflected off the defense right in the slot area, and it went right on the forehand of John Henry, and he beat Sermon. Looked like five hole. Good battle here put on by UNH. Borisinok has it on the inboards again. Now a chance for the Black Bears to clear it out. Again, they fail to do so. Beck keeps it in for Moses. Moses shot, saves Sermon. Rebound, swipe that score! the second goal. Yeah, that time the Wildcats won the battle along the boards in the main defensive end, and they finally get a whole big skirmish out in front, and Kevin Gumis is the one who finds the puck on his forehand side to the right of Sher uh, Sermon, and he pods it home for his second goal in as many games. D on to take the draw. Abbott has it, takes a shot, blocked. Just got one good solid whack at it. And it sounded like a clash of sticks in there as well, so it seems to project harder off the shot. And it eluded, uh, eluded Matt DiGiralamo. They got him on the blocker side. Well, Maine winning another faceoff in the Wildcat end, and they make the most out of it. Moses has it now for UNH. A lot of time to go here in the third period as Moses carries it in. The fans here at the Whittemore Center try to make some noise. And it's a goal for the Wildcats. Borisinok makes it 4-3. Well, it seems just like a harmless clear in. Kind of half a shot for the Wildcats. Sermon tries to glove the puck down. It bounces out of his glove or off the rim of it. And it lands right down by Mike Borisinok. The shot uh, taken by Kevin Gumis, and there's Brissonock, and it claps right up over the glove hand of Sermon. Well, 
he might not. It came to fruition last night with the win. Off another win for Maine. Here they come with speed and a goal score! Will O'Neill ties the game at four. Now there's your fine defenseman jumping up into the play and a nice passing combination. It was very precise in that last pass. A nice, nice little touch pass right to uh, Will O'Neill. Put it right on his stick. And there's a little backhand, backhand flip. And Will O'Neill with the finishing touch equalizes this game for the Black Bears. 50 seconds to play in regulation. DeSimone has it knocked away. And it's Nyquist back the other way. The gamble by DiGeronimo. It hit the post. The follow-up was missed. We're still tied in the final minute. Sislow shot. Save. Rebound in front. Follow-up by Thompson set wide. Kessel back behind the net. Taken by Beattie. He loses an edge. And now it's Thompson the other way. The top scorer in hockey. Carries it all the way in. Tries to bank it in, and he does! Score! Unbelievable action up and down the ice. First for the Blackbirds, then for the Cats. And Paul Thompson, the leading scorer in hockey East, from a negative angle, banks it off. Sean Sermon for the go-ahead goal, 15.3 left. Great chance at the other end. Nyquist looking for his second. He rang it off the crossbar, falling to the ice, or to, to the post. I rang it off the post. And coming back the other way, down the left wing side, Paul Thompson carving in on Jeff Dimmon. How did he get it by Sermon, who was hugging the post? It squirted through. What happened? They're looking at Thompson to see. Now the puck is certainly behind Sermon. I didn't hear a whistle. That one's a goal. And we saw clearly that he's over 50 in his career as we watched that goal one more time. And when you're a goal scorer, why not? Well, he stumbled hard down to the ice, too, but he had a, a really good look at it.